Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith. Welcome to today's game. It is the North London derby. It is Arsenal against Tottenham Hotspur. Great history and so many games, and everyone seems to be a real story in itself. Yeah, you think back to some really historic battles, don't you? Going back as far as 71 when Arsenal won the title at White Hart Lane. So much history between the two. Jan Vertonghen, number three, Danny Rowe. The two North London clubs squaring up to each other at the kickoff. Presented possession to the opposition now. Makes a challenge here. Christian Eriksen. Dele Alli. Song. Kieran Trippier. Song. Room now out on the wing. It will be a free kick. And now he's going to sort out that earlier incident and put the player who committed the foul. Yeah, he doesn't miss much, this ref, he's, he's eagle-eyed and uh, he wanted to give the team a chance to move forward, but always oh, going to produce the yellow for that. I think he'd love to shoot, but he can't from this angle. Gonna get a good ball into the box. Put in with a bit of curl on it. Deli Alley. The shot's on. Well, he's skimmed the top of the bar here. I think the keeper was probably comfortable, but decent effort. The history of this North London derby. You can understand why the rivalry is uh, crafting the through pass. Saw the goal and went for it. How did he save that? Uh, he's one of the best in the business from those kind of situations. Absolutely brilliant. Shot Dran Mustafi anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. It's Harry Weeks. Here in Trippier. So to put them in front. Well, his name is shortened to the point. And so is his style of play. Kane scores. Well, he got to the position of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity to squander. Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have got to be there. And uh, this lad has got the knack of doing that. Well, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. Has put Tottenham Hotspur into the lead. For Tottenham Hotspur, Jacka. Harry Kane. Christian Eriksen. He's coming forward with some danger. Opportunity to cross it now. Kane! And they've scored again! Spurs have scored here. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Different angle on it here. Lacazette. Guiding it through. 
Watford pull one back here. It's bounced back into play from the bar. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. So, hey, here's that. Now the shot. Oh, no way. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. Just a heavy touch, the opposition could take the ball away. So, this could be it. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. And the ball. Knocked away Lock. Musa Sissoko. It's Harry Winks. And shoots! He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Here's Ali. Musa Sissoko. It's Harry Winks. That's good support play from his teammates. So dangerous looking attack, but nothing came of it in the end. Winks. Here's Winks. Kieran Trippier. And this is a goal. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat trick. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match, and he thoroughly deserves that hat-trick. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Steered through. Deli Alley. Taking on the defenders. Shot on! Substitution for Tottenham. And we're going to get substitutions from both managers. Coming onto the pitch. Number 15, Eric Kahn. Obama Yang. Good vision. In with a chance. And here's the shot, magnificent, from the goalkeeper. Well, it's all about positioning and spreading his body. Top-class keeping. Now Suarez. Mesut Ozil. Slip through by Ozil. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Quick, he's got his shot off now. And they're in to score to reduce the deficit. Well, there's good competition with goalkeeping in this team, and I think he might just be going down the pecking order after this. Well, we know the life of a keeper, you make a mistake, and invariably, it comes back to haunt you, and that was a big mistake. Lacazette. Obama Yang. It's Dennis Trotton. Oh, charge down. Ramsey. Now it goes to Ozil. Closing him down. Could pull one back here. And they have done. Oh, what a finale in these closing minutes. Can they get an equaliser? Well, it all looked done and dusted, didn't it? I think the crowd believed that. Not anymore, they don't. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. And the whistle goes. Victory for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, let's get Alan's thoughts on the performance today of Harry Kane. He was so sharp in front of goal. Not every day you uh, grab yourself a hat-trick. No wonder he's laughing. His manager, too, will be doubly pleased with that win.
Hi there, everybody. It's another challenge for these two teams and a challenge for us in the commentary box, as always. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith's with me. Not too much of a challenge, I don't think. It should be a good game, this. Number one. It's Bournemouth playing today against Manchester City. Leroy Sane. Silva. Sterling. Hit the post. It's a very good interception. Here's David Silva. And now the shot. Oh, charge down. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. Sergio Aguero. Now Fernandinho. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. It's shot up. That is a startling save. That's all about reactions and agility. Well, this could be a chance for Manchester City to get the lead here from a corner. Bernardo Silva. Aguero! Well marked, but not so well marked to stop the shot going in, but maybe had an effect on him. Yeah, I think they did. Two or three defenders close to getting in the block. Fraser in behind the defenders. Off his line quickly, the keeper to get that. Had to be. Gunduan. Fernandinho. Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. Well dealt with by Artur Boruts. Riyad Mahrez. Aguero. The shot's on! Goal! From the informed forward. A goal here. Three, remember, the last time he played. And this is the kind of form that has got his manager absolutely praising him to the hilt. There'll be more to say if this goes on to lead to another win. But well taken by a very confident attacker. Well, I like the look of this attack. Shot. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. There's some potential in this move. Now, can he take them on? He's had a go here. It's a fine save. I'm not sure how relevant it's going to be at the end of it all. Well, it won't be popular if the opposition go and get an equaliser here, I can tell you. Not too many mistakes today, but the ones they've made, they've paid a heavy price for. Yeah, they have. I mean, the opposing strikers were on top form, and uh, the chances that they were given, they took. They're keeping this very good run going, and they've got goals again, which is their stock in trade, Alan, isn't it, really, the visiting team? Yeah, well, maybe they'll take that away from home. They didn't play as well as they have been. It wasn't a big one, but it was an important one. Today's action comes to you from the American Express Community Stadium. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, to call the shots for you. Brighton and Hove Albion. And this match today is Brighton and Hove Albion against Huddersfield Town. Brighton and Hove Albion line up this afternoon. To Murray. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Whipped in from the wide area. He's gone in with the header. But the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. Pog. The shot's on! That's well, well wide. Jonathan Hogg. 
Strange game at the moment, the attacking team having all the ball, but not really making many chances because... This with a chance to go into the lead now. Was a chance maybe to hit the target. He certainly went for strength. Nothing wrong with the connection either. Shane Duffy. Montoya. Looking for an opening with some good controlled build-up. Got it back again from his teammate. Very much in free kick territory. This foul. Well, this is a really good opportunity to take the lead. Excellent free kick, so, so close. Yeah, these balls are so hard to control. You've got to connect perfectly with them. There's good progress with this attack. Put into the middle. Well, crossing is a skill and... He's going to try his luck. On the front foot now, they've got a corner, hoping for the goal that will put them in the lead. Prepper. He's aimed for the far post here. Headed it well, just wide. Well, not far wide at all. Next time, maybe he'll bury that. Hogg. Smith. He's had a go here. And a goal. And they've opened the scoring now. We don't always see it when the players run over to celebrate with the manager, but this boss, he's got a close relationship with his players, you can see it there. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal-scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance, you know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort, the final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there, Took a little bit of instinct. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Christopher Schindler. Shot on! He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Shane Duffy. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Listen to the atmosphere in here. Those fans certainly doing the bit to spur their team on for an equaliser. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And that chunk of added time here. Three minutes. They know the clock is against them. And the opposition is doing well against them as well. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Pick out his man, but in the shot go! That's gone behind for a corner. The dismal feeling that you see written all over players' faces when they have lost a game and they've lost this important match today. Yeah, they're, they're gutted out there, but looking back, if they'd have taken one or two chances at important moments, the outcome could have been much different. Big warm welcome to you to Turf Moor here in Burnley, one of the traditional football grounds anywhere in England. And Alan Smith, who's been here many times, is here again.
Number it's one. Burnley today it's against Peter. Crystal Palace. Number six, Ben Mee. Patrick Van Arnholt. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Townsend! That was the chance to go 1-0 up. And to score this early on, that would have given him so much confidence. Put the corner in the middle. He's got his shot off now. And it's out now for a goal kick. Westwood. Wood. Probing with the pass. That's the right kind of football dive to turn the shot away. We'll see what sort of system they use to defend the corner. Goalkeeper rising to the occasion, literally. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck and you do have to pay attention to those. Strong strike from long range and good goalkeeping. The ball did move in the air a touch, so he had to keep his concentration. Aiming for Benteke. Good defensive clearance there. Kuyate. With Wilfred Zaha. And here's the shot. Corner kick given. He's coming forward with some danger. has suggested would come you wonder whether missing chances would leave them regretting those misses but now they've opened the scoring and you would feel that they'll go on a win from here a goal from Townsend and the keeper's got no chance because he's hitting so hard to his right Jack Cork Wood. And here's the shot. Well, that was a good chance to get level here. Well, it certainly was. Good move, too, and give him another chance. I think he might take it. Coming onto the pitch. Coming onto the pitch. Number 23. Here's Taylor. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Cleared away by the defender. Substitution for this corner given. Well, those fans haven't seen the ball up this end for ages, it seems. A chance here, though, good delivery into the box, chance for an equaliser. And in it goes. Barnes! Oh, so close with that header. Oh, he's good at that, isn't he? He really does connect well with those neck muscles. Phil Bardsley. Good, Munson. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Barnes! Oh, it's a goal, it's an equaliser. And it just shows that possession isn't everything, because they've had pretty little. But when they got the ball this time, they carved out this move, and they have carved out an equaliser. Well played. Sensational strike there for the goal. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. You can't blame him. The manager is delighted with the character his team has shown to get back into this game. Striving really hard for the goal that surely will give them the victory here. The time is against them. And it's level pegging here at the end of 90 minutes. A 
Hi everybody, welcome to you all to the home of Manchester United, Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams. Alan Smith had plenty of dreams in his football career and a lot of reality as well. Alan alongside me, Martin Tyler. Today's game, Manchester United and they face Southampton. And uh, Herrera. Ashley Young. It's with Herrera. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. And shoots! Back out of the bar. Dangerous pass, I think, with the keeper pushing it away. So we'll restart with a throw in. Good forward play from them. Shot up! The signal's gone up for two minutes. Pierre Emil Hoybjerg, James Ward Prowse, Redmond, excellent vision. Hoybjerg. Well, in it goes. And they get it away. And they blocked it then. And that's deflected behind. It will be a corner. Oriol Romeo. The shot's on. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Manchester United want to make a change now. Lindelof. Now Anthony Martial. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Lukaku, Lukaku, it's with Herrera, and here's the shot. McCarthy keeps it out without any difficulty at all. Nemanja Matic, Alexis Sanchez. Pogba, here's Shaw, it's a pass, another pass, at the moment just giving them... Pogba, up for grabs here, and he can clear it here. Nathan Redmond, a couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. And now the shot! It's good attacking play, they've got a corner from it, and maybe a chance for a goal. Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku. A great chance to go in front. It comes out. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way then. Old Trafford. Ryan Bertrand. For today's Good interception match. there. Number 31, Nemanja Matic. Matic. Shot up. Manchester United corner. Possibilities here for them. In goes the corner. Lukaku! Tried to keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. Oh, I thought he was going to score there. I thought he should have scored. 90 minutes up here. Final whistle's gone. The scores are still level. Hi there, Alan Smith. Hi there to everybody from both of us. And welcome to this big match today. Our match today is Wolverhampton Wanderers against Cardiff City. Gian Moutinho. Diogo Jota. Into the attacking third. And here's the shot. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. Now they've got to defend the corner. It's all about discipline.
to Bennett. Now Doherty. Supporting player alongside. Here's Hoylett. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. He might be through. Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. Wolves have gone and won it back again. Gian Moutinho. Can find some space here on the flanks. Diogo Jota. Good deep cross towards the far post. First goal is always a crucial goal, and they've just got it. How about that goal for sheer class? The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. Nathaniel Mendes Lang. And now the shot! Simple save for Rui Patricio. Then Donker. Jimenez. And they're keeping the ball, that's the important thing. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. Shots on here. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. Nathaniel Mendes Lang. Gone for the header, and we love to see that, especially you, Alan, but you could head it much, much better than this one. Well, you've got to be committed to those headers, and he wasn't quite. Corner swung in. Manga! Keeper controls it, never looked like bouncing off him. It made it look easy, but his positioning did that for him. Given the ball away. Morrison. I think he saw that. Trying to steer it through. Jimenez. The shot's on. Now they've got a corner on the attack again. The team that's leading by one goal. All the hand to Wanderers. Celebrate at the final whistle. Celebrate their victory. This is a team that sets out to win every game, and I suppose every now and then something like this is going to come along. You underachieve, you underperform. Well, that's right. If you're not properly at it, if it's not 100% performance, you, you will be made to pay quite often, and that was the case here. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. He was always the man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment there when he grabbed that goal. Big welcome to you to the London Stadium for our featured game today. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. West Ham United. In our game today, West Ham United against Newcastle United. Today, number one, Lucas Fabianski. Number five. Oh, too early, offside. Rice. Pablo Zabaleta. Rice. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two. Zabaleta. Put into the middle. The shot's on. And he tried his luck, but his luck was out. Yeah. He's got it back again from his teammate. 
trying to pick out someone in the centre. And they've scored! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. What a good moment and a good goal for Newcastle United. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. Zabaleta. Noble. Marco Arnautovic. Steered through. Antonio. Shots on here. That's uh, straightforward enough for the goalkeeper. Good hands, but it would have been a surprise if he dropped it. Yeah, kept his eye on the ball. Good handling from him. It's a very good interception. There's a sub coming on for Newcastle. And now the shot! Reflected behind a clear corner. Oh, listen to the noise here. Urging their side on to try and find the equaliser. They want to use the width, Newcastle, and they're doing it well now. Whipped in from the wide area. Could have been his second. But the goalkeeper has at least nullified this particular attempt. The inquest is almost starting now, so soon after the final whistle, about the reasons for this defeat. Yeah, disappointment all round, and maybe one or two will point fingers in the dressing room because I don't think they all gave it their full effort, 100%, and that's inexcusable. A couple of exceptional talents in a really good game that we might be focusing on. Oh, I love watching this pair play. They haven't disappointed this season. They've been the most threatening players for me, for both their teams. Number seven, Delafu. And number nine, Troy Deeney. Ricardo Pereira. Thielemans. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Oh, time to get the cross now. Telemans! Really tight angle to try that kind of shot. I think he's just trying to catch the keeper unawares and squeeze one in. And that's a cross the field to try and switch the play. De La Feu. Dini. De La Feu. What an opportunity if he picks out the right man. And that will be a corner. Well, here comes the corner. Defended well. De La Feu. Can you believe it? It is a penalty. Referee has pointed for the penalty. Oh, could be a big, big moment in this match. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? Well, I think so. The referee doesn't need to make a, a mountain out of this molehill, but uh, it is a foul. put away Alan not something you did too often in your distinguished career but a penalty here yeah I think some people are cut out for it some aren't and this lad certainly is
Dini. Here's a chance to attack. Pereira. Just moving the opposition around, maybe trying to wear them out by getting them to chase. And now the shot! Well, it's taken a touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. In goes the corner. Oh, that's good defending. The shot's on! He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Vardy. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. The men in the middle frustrated because that cross has gone straight behind. And they get it away. It's Jamie Vardy. Ah, uh, saw it all the way, the goalkeeper. And it's comfortable in the end. And Didi. Well, the Leicester players still showing great belief here, but they're still trailing. Defended well. And the whistle's gone for the last time today. Not a good day at the office. And they'll be having a big rethink, I'm sure, as soon as they get in the changing room after a defeat such as this. Yeah, maybe back to the drawing board for the manager, back to the training ground to work on their shape because they looked a bit disjointed out there. Hi there everyone, Martin Tyler here with me today. I'm delighted to welcome Alan Smith. Oh, hi there Martin, absolutely delighted to be here. Well, Fulham playing against Chelsea, of course, having recovered here from relegation in uh, 2014. What a terrible season that was for the Cottages. Well, they've had a, a lot of instability, haven't they? A lot of changes of managers they need. A bit of continuity now, and that's going to help this team. Number 23, Joe Bryan. Christy. Andre Schürrle. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Mitrovic! Really tried to fire that past the keeper. Well, you miss it in those circumstances, and it looks like you've lost your head. I think he might have, actually. Now, can he take them on? Willian. Conte. Now William. The shot's on. Natural finish from a natural finisher. Gonzalo Higuaí. He's tucked it away. Well out of the goalkeeper's reach. I love to see that. Don't have to whack it from that kind of position. Just side-footed home. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. Chambers. Sure. It looked a good cross, but in the end, it was misleading. That would be a goal kick. Here we go again, Alan. Let's take another look at Higuain's goal. It's given them the lead. Well, the keeper looking in, stranded on his line. He didn't even have to dive because bottom left, he gave him no chance. Corner taken by Aiden Hazard. Not really away from... He's got his shot off now. Hit by Watch on the line. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now.
they'll feel a little bit more comfortable and they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Ross Barkley. And here's the shot. Full on the... Barkley! It's a difficult technique, and he didn't quite catch it. Yeah, fair play for taking it on. Takes a bit of confidence to do that. Andre Schürrle. Well, he's got support here. Untidy work from Schürrle. Hazard. Gonzalo Higuain. Good vision. Was well, nowhere near in the end, and he was right in at the goalkeeper. Yes, one thing missing, but uh, missed by that distance. A bit embarrassing for the lad. Activity on the bench for the losing team. A substitute getting ready to come on. Guiding the pass through. Not really away from the threat here. Manager trying to get Chelsea fully organised, fully focused in these last few minutes to protect the lead. Yeah, it's a lead I thought that they would have at this stage. Can they see it through? Babol, he's gone for the volley and it nearly paid off. Yeah, really good technique there, known for that kind of volley. Couldn't keep it down. It was uh, a useful position he found himself in. No, he didn't and his technique has let him down badly there. Loftus-Cheek. N'Golo Conte. Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Marcos Alonso. That's an excellent cross. But it's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Loftus-Cheek. Chance for a crack at goal. There's the final whistle. It's a win for Chelsea. I thought it's not a real post-mortem, Alan, but obviously disappointment isn't the key. Uh, and they've lost the game, they were desperate to win. Yeah, there'll be a bit of an inquest, I think, because they didn't quite do themselves justice. So, plenty of work on the training ground next week. Actually, we expected more goals, really, in this game, but they uh, have tightened up their defending, but it's still not good enough to improve their results. They uh, will try and take the positives from it. I'm sure the manager will be talking those up afterwards, but it doesn't take away from the fact that they still lost. Hi there, everybody. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler, for the Merseyside derby here from Goodison Park, which, of course, has been an iconic venue for this rivalry between Everton and Liverpool. But it won't be here that much longer. Everton with plans to move to a new stadium, so we're going to enjoy this. I think we've got to make the most of it. This is one of the grand old grounds of English football. Everton will hope the home advantage today will uh, count in their favour. Number five, Kurt Zuma. Number 12, Lucas Dine. Fabinho, Salah to take the lead. Really at the extent of his reach to make that very fine stop. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Jorginho, Wijnaldum. Salah. Well, what a start to the game that would have been for them, Alan. The first goal coming so early, but not quite. Well, he's kicking himself. He can't believe he's missed from so close in two. It's spicy, it's spiky, it's splendid. It's the Merseyside derby. Yeah, and Everton as the uh, perennial underdogs, you might say, in terms of uh, chasing trophies, always trying to prove a point. Wijnaldum. It's Salah now. Roberto Firmino. And that will... End the threat, at least for the moment. It's looking good, this move. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. And here's the shot. 
given that he tried to place it. He got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option, should have tried to get some power behind that shot. Jordan Shakiri. That's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Put into the middle. And they get it away. Coleman. Idrissa Garnage. Now Andre Gomez. Bernard. Gilfi Sigurdsson. Gilfi Sigurdsson. a chance maybe to hit the target he certainly went for strength nothing wrong with the connection either patience is the name of the game at the moment Roberto Firmino he's got some strength hasn't he to shield the ball like that and that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in Gilfie Sigurdsson incisive pass Walker trying to pick out someone in the center. Oh, that's football for you. They've hardly got out of their own half, but when they have done, they've scored. The other team will be absolutely devastated. They've been controlling the shape of the game, and suddenly they've conceded the first goal of the game. Well, I wonder whether the goalkeeper will blame himself for this, but it looked a good finish, even though he did get a touch. Yeah, he's getting a few stares off his defenders. They thought he should have done better. And here is another angle on that goal. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team could go on and win this. Wijnaldum. Everton have so often been on the wrong end of these Merseyside derby results, but this could be their day, but Liverpool still within reach. Yeah, Liverpool giving it a real push now, and I think we'll see a lot of goal-mouth action. Jordan Shakiri, he's got a chance to cross. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw-in. Well, this is fascinating, and the crowd are loving the... The drama that we're watching here, just a one goal in it in favour of the home team. Yeah, careful that they don't start celebrating too quickly and that the players feel they've won the game before they actually have. Is this a game? Theo Walcott is looking for the cross. Davis! The safe hands from the goalkeeper there, not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy though to take it a little easy, take your eye off the ball. There's only a minute to go. Wijnaldum. As the verdict on added time is two minutes. Two minutes. To Robertson. Now Sadio Mane. Fabinho. Roberto Firmino. It's Mane. And there's the final whistle. It's a win for Everton. Well, a few final thoughts as the players leave the pitch. Disappointed, Alan, weren't they, with the result against the side that they really want to beat? Yeah, of course they would have, and there'll be disappointment in that dressing room now. And didn't really start the game too well, and it was hard to pick it up from them.